And this is the book of Sirach, chapter 38, verse 23. When the dead is at rest, let us remember his rest and be comforted for him when his spirit is departed from him. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would love to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. Uh, blessings and safety to the elect. All right. And this is going to be, you know, a message or you could call it a warning to you rappers out there that this the dead, man. And this, and this demonic spirit is heavy among shake, man. It's heavy amongst Israel, man. You know, and ultimately, you know, it's due to the, you know, the curses, man. But, you know, you Jake's out there, man, that's in that spirit, man. You know, death is going to pursue you, you know, ultimately. Because it happens all the time, man. All right. And um, it made me think about this one nigga. All right. He was from Philly, man. All right. His rap name was YBC Door. All right. And, you know, this Jake, man, he actually went to another Jake's, you know, cemetery and started to dig him up, man. All right. And he was known for dissing the dead, man. And guess what? You know, uh, 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 death pursued him. All right. You got a lot of those Chicago rappers, man. You know, I could name, you know, a few of them, man. You know, FBG Duck, you know, he made a song called Dead Bitches, right? And right after that, you know, Death pursued him. All right, King Vaughn, another Jake who this is the dead, man. Death pursued him. All right, and the list. Look, I can keep going, man. All right? And like I said, ultimately, you know, it's, it's, it's due to the curses, man. All right? But, you know, Jake be going too damn far, man. Too damn far, man. All right? And this, I'm going to get this quick preset, man. Hey, this is uh, Sirach chapter 8, verse 7. It says, rejoice not over thy greatest enemy being dead, but remember that we all die. All right. So I'm going to read this back. It said, rejoice not over thy greatest enemy being dead, but remember that we all die, man. And that, like I said, that demonic spirit is heavy amongst Israel, man. You know, Jake passed away, man. You know, I seen, um, a Jake wearing a shirt and it said rest in piss, all right? And it had a picture of his enemy. He had he had a picture of his who he think his enemy is, which ultimately is his brother, man. Okay? These fucking devils, man, the so-called white man in these other nations, they are enemy, man. All right. You know, Jacob fucking uh, you know, this is disrespect their own brother, man. Okay, but pay homage to these fucking heathens, man. All right? But, hey, like I said, ultimately it's due to the curses, man. All right? But, you know, hey, man, this is why Jake need to, to learn who their, who, who their enemy is, man. The prophets are out here, okay? We're, we letting you know who your damn enemy is, man. And who have been showing, and who have been showing you that they're, that they're your enemy, since the beginning of time, all right? But like I said, man, Jake, Jake love the heathen, man. Jake hate their own brother, but love the damn heathen, man. All right? So it says, I'm going to read this back one more time. Sirach 8 and 7, it says, Rejoice not over thy greatest enemy being dead, but remember that we all die, all right? Now, who is the one who issues out death? 
All right, let's get that. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. And it reads, see now that I, even I am he, and there's no God with me. I kill and make alive, I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You know, so ultimately, you know, if someone dies, man, it was done by Yahweh, by Shem Shah, who the world ignorantly calls God, man. You know, he's the one who issues out death or issues out judgment, okay? And why, you know, do people die, okay? Go and grab that. This is Romans chapter 6, verse 23. It says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Hamashiach. Yahweh Shai, our Lord. So it says the wages of sin is death, man. Wages meaning uh, the payment, okay? So the payment of sinning is death, man. All right? So knowing that, man, we all guilty of sin. Which means what, man? We could be judged. Any day... You know, any time, man, the Lord can bring forth judgment upon us. All right? And that's something to, to consider. You know, it, had, it has nothing to do with, you know, your Glock 30, okay? You, you click, you know, the group of security you have around you, okay? It doesn't have nothing to do with the strength of men, okay? And the scriptures uh, say in the book of Proverbs, man, a horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord, man. Y'all remember, uh, it was the rapper, uh, what was this nigga name, man? All right, the nigga name was Young Mozzie, man. You know, he was shot on, on, on a few occasions, all right, but he always survived, okay? But this one day, you know, uh, this one day, you know, he was shot outside a pizza spot, I believe, and he ain't make it. All right. He ain't make it. All right. And that's how it usually happens, man. You know, that's another, uh, you know, spirit, you know, amongst Israel, man. You know, some judgment happened unto him. And, uh, you know, if it don't take their life. You know, that's when that pride, that's when that pride kick in. You know, the nigga got shot. I remember the nigga got shot, man. He, uh, you know, he was in the hospital. He had made a, made a TikTok. You know, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. All right? And then guess what, man? When he got out of the hospital, the Lord judged his ass and he didn't make it, man. All right? But hey, man, it says the wages of sin is death, man. So the reason why the Lord issues out death is uh, because of your sins, man. Which, hey, man, we all got sins, man. We all worthy of judgment, all right? So, hey, man, when you get on the, uh, the track and start dissing your brother, all right, you know, making mockery of him, all right, speaking about his death, man, remember... You know, your sins are before you as well, man. And the Lord can punch your clock at any time. And it usually happens instantly when you're in that type of spirit, man, of dissing the dead, man. Matter of fact, just to prove, okay, that it's your sin and it's the Lord that issues out that death. All right, let's go to the book of uh, Second Ezra. Chapter uh, 15, verse, uh, I'm going to start at 24. 
It says, woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children from the power, defile not my sanctuary. All right, but this the, for, this the point, verse 26. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. All right? So why you, you know, you, you got your, your, your Glock 30 on you, man? Okay, you got your switch, you know, you got all these, you know, these uh, 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 different uh, uh, instruments of war, okay, that cannot protect you, first and foremost, all right? The scriptures go into how in thy security thou shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. So, you, hey, man, safety is of the Lord once again, you know? But this is this is proof, man, the Lord, the one who delivereth you, 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 you people unto death and destruction, so if the Lord wants you to uh, die or uh, be judged, man, how can you prevent that? You know? How could you prevent that? You know? And I'm going to uh, close with the book of Amos, the fifth chapter, man. All right? Because like I said, man, you know, it'd be times where, you know, the Lord, you know, made, you know, judge someone by the, by the way of, uh, you know, having, uh, a guy shoot him or whatnot. And the scriptures go into how there, uh, be spirits that are created for vengeance. All right. You know, so the Lord, you know, he'll, he'll have a nigga, you know, get with you, man. You know, and in, in some cases, man, you know, a person may not die, you know, but like I said, that's when that pride kick in. And ultimately, that's when you see them, you know, that's when you usually see another situation transpire and they don't make it, all right? This is Amos 5 and um, 19, all right? And it says, as and it says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into a house and leaned his hand upon a wall and a serpent bit him, all right? So that man, he was able to, you know, flee from a lion and flee you know, from a bear, okay, but then he went into a house, which a house, you know, it represents, you know, security, you know, comfort, right? He went into a house, you know, it represents shelter, you know, he went into a house and leaned his hand upon a wall and the serpent bit his ass, man. All right, so saying that, you know, you may make it out of all these different situations, all right, you may make it out, but, you know, the Lord may have you escape three situations and your life is still, you know, preserved. OK, but then that fourth situation, you know, that's when he decides to take you out, man. You know, so, hey, man, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to end giving all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakaq Till next time. Shalom.